What's up guys? I'm Laura from Reading in Bed and I'm having one of those days where I just do not want to be on camera. Don't want to put makeup on all of that. So, uh, but I am running a giveaway. It's up on the blog. It's been there uh, for a day or two. So I did want to let you guys know um, you have a chance to win a copy of the short story advent calendar for 2018, which you're not seeing here. What you're seeing is the past three years worth of calendars. 2015 uh, in the blue, 2016 in the middle, and 2017 uh, in the black and red. The 2018 ones, there are some out in the wild. I haven't seen one in person yet, but I did just get my notice that it shipped, so I may do a little unboxing soon when I get it. Um, if you followed me for a while, you probably know the deal, but in case you don't, um, as you can see, each one of these calendars is kind of a box set. Um, and inside of each one are 25 individually bound short stories. And uh, they're put out by a local publisher here in Edmonton. Not sponsored by them, by the way, <laughs> but uh, they are providing the giveaway copy. Um, but yeah, it, it just creates a really nice ritual that you can just enjoy yourself every day, or certainly um, they're very Instagrammable, they're very booktubable. And last year, there were three of us, all uh, women from Alberta here on BookTube, who were doing daily calendar reveals. That was me, Anne at I've Read That, and Cheryl at CR Flames Fan. So I'll link all their stuff below too. Um, the calendars go for $55. So, you know, they're a bit expensive, but they are also really beautifully designed. Um, Hingston and Olson is made up of Michael Hingston, who kind of edits, collects the stories, and then Natalie Olson does the design. And it shows that they take the design just as seriously as the actual content and the stories. They're really beautiful. Um, they're, for the most part, pretty durable as well. Like, I think these are going to uh, stand the test of time and all that. Now, so for each one of the three, I did pull out one story just, you know, so I'd have maybe something a little interesting to show you. Uh, what I was going to do is just look at each one and see what, if anything, I remember about it, <laughs> who the author is, what the story was about, etc. Um, but I'm sure some of you have done this already. If you just want to order... Um, enter the giveaway. It's going to be up till October 25th. Just leave me a comment. I mean, you don't really have to say anything, but it would be cool if you told me about a short story that you really enjoyed this year or any time. Um, last year, I ended up compiling all the responses I got into a blog post that just, you know, was a pretty good place to start with short, short stories and recommendations. Okay, so without any further ado, um, I'm going to just check out each of these stories, which I pulled out very randomly. All, the stories are not in order, so the fact that I picked uh, number one is just a coincidence. So I'll start here uh, with the 2015 calendar. This was story number one. This was called Flamingo by Jessica Westhead. I don't remember this one super clearly and I could be wrong I think she might have a story in the 2018 calendar I think I might have seen her tweeting that she was going to be in the calendar again so she is a Canadian author and uh you know probably a good example of um you know sort of a indie author a Canadian author that you might not otherwise get in like popular story anthologies um, so, and it, it sort of shows like the design aspect, like each story has a kind of unique design. Okay. So that was 2015. Don't really remember the story that much, but might be a, a two-time author. And I should mention that when these stories come, they're all sealed. You can kind of see the seal on there, um, which helps with not peeking. Obviously these ones are all open. So this is 2016 story number seven. Um, oh, this is uh, Chris Batchelder, Deep Wells, USA. Now, I don't remember the details of the story, but I remember that I liked it. Um, yeah, we're starting out with like dialogue between a celebrity and a consumer, um, an expert, an eyewitness. Yeah, I, I vaguely kind of remember thinking the story was uh, really interesting, really cool, but I don't remember like a lot of the details about it. Um, and I think, yeah, I, I'm not sure if this author is Canadian or American, um, definitely lives in America now. Um, but this more of a well-known author, he's published a couple of novels. Um, so that was story number seven just shows, you know, from indie sort of Canadian authors to more well-known, uh, American authors. And there's definitely big names in here too. Don't know if we'll get to one. This is the third one. I'll, 
uh, you know, kind of reveal to you this was number nine from last year. Okay, yeah, so here's a pretty well-known name. We've got Aftermath by Laura Vandenberg. Um, not that I remember the story, uh, but yeah, what is she wrote? Find Me, uh, I think is the uh, more well-known. She might have something new out too, not sure. Um, anyways, yeah, Aftermath. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, I don't remember this one very strongly either. <laughs> it was a shorter one. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Obviously, there's a lot to be said for the experience of reading these things through December, but they do keep very well. You know, you can keep them on your shelf and they look great. And another thing I was thinking of is if you're a completist uh, and an author that you love happens to be in here, not that you would know, uh, it would be really cool to like, say, have um, in 2015, I know there's a Heather O'Neill short story in there. So, you know, she's one of my favorite authors. And I can say that I've got this story published here that not very many people have because these are limited edition and they do tend to sell out and I don't think they'll ever be reprinted. So anyways, I'll leave it there. I'll link you over to my blog post if you want to read a little more, you know, go to the publisher's website. Go ahead and order your own if you want um, or enter my giveaway and I will, you know, You'll hear from me basically uh, next Friday, whether you've won or not. And uh, if I don't hear back from whoever's chosen in 48 hours, I'll choose again. So, um, you know, good luck to you all. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later.